This is the man who allegedly opened fire in a busy terminal at the airport in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, leaving five dead. Wounded and shaken passengers were seen in the baggage claim area where the gunfire erupted. Confirmed shots fired at the staging in the taxi area in between Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. Multiple victims. Here's what we know about the alleged shooter. His name is Esteban Santiago. He's 26 years old. Born in New Jersey, a member of the U.S. Army Reserve, and he was carrying military ID. He flew from Alaska to Minneapolis Thursday night and then on to Fort Lauderdale Friday. He reportedly served in Iraq and suffered from emotional problems. Authorities say he had a gun and ammo in his checked luggage and opened fire when he retrieved the weapon at baggage claims. This photo shows a man being taken away by police. Terrified passengers fled Terminal 2 where Delta Airlines operates and were herded to the tarmac. We have uh, the shooter in custody. Uh, he's uh, unharmed. No law enforcement fired any shots. Former Bush White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer was at the airport and offered a live account on Twitter. I'm at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Shots have been fired. Everyone is running. Yeah. Counterterrorism expert yeah, Nick Casal. At the airport, you're going to have immediate response from units with heavy weapons. There are things you can do if you are caught in an attack on an airport. Security expert Bill Stanton. I'm looking at people. I'm noticing where the exits are. For instance, I know there's an exit right there to my left. I know if I had to get out to the street level, right down these steps and I'm there. And if something were to happen right now, right. you know what? All rules go out the window. I'm going to look to jump over this counter and see what's back there. Anything for me to hide, to barricade myself in, or there may be a separate entrance that goes downstairs. Good advice whether you're ever caught up in a contagion of fear or the real thing.